When it comes to design handoff, communication is key. Let's be real, handoff is more than just a one-time thing. As designs change, designers need to be able to iterate while still providing clarity to developers about what's new and what's ready to build. In this video, we'll follow Ash and Apollo, a designer and developer at Epoch, to see how they collaborate throughout an entire handoff process while handling changes. We'll see them use tools throughout dev mode so they can each stay in sync and support each other's work. Hi, I'm Ash, a designer at Epoch. We're launching a new onboarding flow and I'm preparing the designs before handing it off to Apollo, the developer on my team. To help Apollo understand the designs better, I'm going to highlight a few important aspects of the design and outline the spacing and sizing specs so he can quickly see them. Dev mode is Apollo's developer space in Figma, where he can get all the info he needs to inspect designs and turn them to code. I'll go there to prep my design for handoff. Since this headline isn't in an auto layout frame and doesn't contain any gaps or padding, it might be hard for Apollo to understand where it'll be positioned. It would be helpful to provide some extra clarity on the distance between the headline and the top of the frame. I'll use the measure tool to do that. I'll select measure from the toolbar and hover over the headline, which is where the measurement starts. I can click and drag to create a measurement from the headline to the top of the frame. Now, let me add a few more measurements to make it easier for Apollo to visualize the spacing and sizing. Much better. I want the fill color on these tags to change when they are in an active state. I'll use annotations to capture that detail. Annotations allow me to provide additional context attached to specific frames or elements so developers have the information they need to turn designs into code. Pinning properties in an annotation is a great way to highlight them. And if I ever change the color of the tag, the pin property will update as well so I don't have to come back and rewrite my annotation. Pretty cool, right? Now that I'm done annotating, I'm ready to share the designs with Apollo. I'll mark this section as ready for dev. This will give the section a status of ready for development. I'll click the share button and share the file link with Apollo by clicking copy link. Looks like Ash just sent over the designs. Instead of searching for designs all over the canvas, the Ready for Dev view shows me everything that's ready to be worked on in one predictable view, regardless of how Ash has organized the file. Let's take a look. Here, I'm able to see which sections or frames in the file are ready for development. By default, it shows the most recent changes first, so I can quickly scan for new changes without searching for designs all over the canvas. I'll open this design to inspect it in focus view. The focus view will only show the design we're currently inspecting and hide other designs on the canvas. I'm able to inspect the designs and view their properties from the right side panel. Let me select this frame to check its properties. Hmm. It's showing me a hex value for the background color. That's unusual. Usually I see things like color dark gray and color warm gray. I'll add a comment and tag Ash to double check. Looks like Apollo left a comment in the file. Let's check it out. Oops. I made a mistake and forgot to apply the color variable to the background color. I'll click the dev mode icon in the toolbar to switch back to design mode and assign a color variable to its fill. We've also got some feedback from the UX writer on the copy. Let's update that while we're here. Great! Now the designs are ready for development again. Because I updated the designs, Figma will indicate that this design has changed. Let me click on the status badge and leave a note for Apollo. Then, I'll confirm the changes and reply to Apollo's comment. It looks like Ash updated the designs. Let's take a look. Oh, Ash is here. I'll say hi to them. Now let's inspect the design again. 
I'll click the Ready for Dev drop-down and select Show in Focus View. This way, I'll only see the section that's ready for me. With nothing selected on canvas, I can see all the versions of the design in the right side panel. When I compare this version with the previous version, I can see that Ash updated the background color as well as the copy in the designs. I'll make sure to replace the old line of CSS with this new one. I'm excited to start building the new onboarding flow. Once I'm done, I'll come back to this file and mark the design as completed by pressing the button here. This way, other developers won't pick up the design to build, and Ash will know the design has been implemented. With dev mode, designers and developers can maintain constant communication throughout the handoff process. Collaborating through design and development has never been easier. Designers can highlight parts of the design, provide additional context, and notify developers when something changes. Developers can inspect designs in a dedicated view and understand the changes at a glance. Dev mode prevents important details from getting lost in translation and keeps your teams in sync. To learn more about inspecting designs in dev mode, check out our other dev mode videos and the resources linked in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe to get notified about Figma's latest product and community news. I've got to go review this next screen, so I'll catch you in the next one.